Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. In this video, I'm going to sh quickly give you an overview of, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, iPhone customization. What I have currently going on my iPhone and what makes it perfect for me. And one of the primary reasons why Apple needs to allow more customization. Because using some of these tools I'm going to show you, it makes your iPhone much more usable. So first of all, one of the biggest complaints is the lock screen and using the Gruppled Lock Info uh, thing, which I'll talk about a little bit more, or I'll show you. It makes the lock screen much more usable. Bam. So right off the bat, you have the time right over here, as well as the day and the date. You can click on that and it'll give you a little calendar interface, although you can't interact with that. You can only press it to minimize. You have your weather which you can input in via zip code and you can have multiple different weathers in here and there's even as you can see a little refresh button if you want to refresh it. It gives you the temperature up here so even if you close this one you'd still see the temperature and the forecast so showers in this case. Next up is mail for your unread mail. Next is calendar Miss calls, voicemail, and SMS. Calendar will show you your calendar updates. Mail, voice, me voice calls, voicemail, and SMS will show you unread messages. The one problem with this is because Apple's interface doesn't expect you to be able to do something like this, even if you're interacting, you'll still have your timer in terms of how quickly it goes off. So that's one issue. But it definitely makes this much more usable and makes it something that I you know, really enjoy. So once we go ahead and, well, if I hold down this, you can, I'll show you the power off. That's the power off, so it even changes that as well. So we'll go ahead and unlock using the unlock slider. And uh, this is, by the way, before I go on, this is called the Gruppled Lock Info. You have a lot to customize. You can customize the clock, section order, and disabling. So you can go into the settings and turn off uh, empty categories. So if you don't have any unread SMS, this SMS category won't appear. You can also change the order uh, or remove some if you never want to see say SMS if you're not an SMS person or you don't have an SMS plan you never use SMS then you can remove that you can have multiple weather locations and there's a lot more now the full package includes that Gruppled Lock Info theme which is what you see on the front here it also includes Gruppled Art so that's that slider I showed you basically and also the T-Lock background so let me try to show you as much as I can here this uses multiple layers of images and gracefully changes throughout the day. So here's a little picture of the background, different time of day. And uh, as you can see, it just it changes and it makes it you know really interesting because you're not expecting whatever to happen. So there's the Gruppled Lock info. Now that we get on and it kind of transitions well, here is the I Illumin theme. Uh, what's really cool about it is they have a library of, I believe, over 1,800 icons and applications, so a lot of things are customized. Pretty much every application I have is customized uh, to this theme. And what's really cool is in Cydia, as you know, there's a five icon dock here, so I can show you that. Five icon dock, I've done videos about that in the past. There's also uh, something that gives you five icons up here in your springboard. I've never actually used it but it's definitely usable on this theme because it makes the icons a little bit smaller. And as you can see, there's sort of a little bit of glow underneath each, which is pretty cool. What's also good about this is it includes a dial pad skin. I can show you that. Let me just make sure there's nothing there. Keypad. The keypad has its own theme and a little bit of a glow, as you can see. There is also an SMS skin, so even on 3.0, it works in the messaging app, makes it look a little bit different. And there's also a weather icon skin, but as you, that will uh, basically give you a little badge telling you your current temperature, although that currently doesn't work, or at least I couldn't get it set up on OS 3.0. One more thing, some more things that make this really cool. Quick scroll. This is an application you can download in Cydia and allows you to quickly scroll through. You can do on your home screens. This can work on a web page as well if you want to quickly go down or skim through it if you're looking for something in particular. It makes scrolling much easier. And the last thing for the ultimate iPhone customization, uh, besides backgrounder, 
which allows background support, which I've showed you in the past in a previous video, is uh, SBS settings. This is something I use quite often. It basically gives you, if you can see that, you just swipe down, and uh, it gives you some quick on-the-fly information. So it gives you some information down here, including available memory, but then you have these different toggles. So three, you can turn 3G on or off Bluetooth. You can look at the processes that are currently running, and this is really cool in conjunction with processes and as well available memory. It makes it really easy to know how much resources you have when you're using, say, Backgrounder. So you also have more refresh, dock, respring, and power. Power turned it off, respring, we'll respring your springboard, refresh. We'll go to more. This basically you can set more toggles and dock applications as well. So I'll show you toggles. You just have different things. So you could turn location services all on or off. You could put the phone into airplane mode right from there. And dock applications. So basically you could have an application that you want to be able to launch. We could say uh, through here through the search, but you don't want there to be an icon for it. You can just hide it using SBS settings. So again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com, just giving you a look at jailbroken, because Apple doesn't support theming right now, uh, jailbroken devices, the ultimate iPhone or iPod Touch, I guess, customization from the Groupled Lock Info theme with that T-Lock background that changes based on the time of the day, the Illumin theme, which includes dial pad, SMS, skins, as well as a weather icon update so you can see a badge, Quick scroll to quickly scroll through your pages or web documents or PDFs and SBS settings for quick uh, information updates and controls over your device. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching.